So this Samsung television has caused me no end of headaches and the simple reason is there's no um, audio output on it. There's lots of inputs, there's um, HDMI inputs, there are USB inputs, uh, various bits and pieces. But what I need is, because there's no uh, Bluetooth chip in it, I wanted um, a sender, Bluetooth sender or uh, adapter so that my son could use his headphones. Um, when you go around to the back of it, there's no auxiliary output there for the audio. So I've had to do a couple of things. One, I've had to get a digital um, optical converter so that we can turn it to the a jack plug for the um, for the headphone output. But this, this is the baby that I've been using to connect to these headphones. Now, I've got another two um, Bluetooth adapters, but they don't connect to any headphones that I've got, purely and simply because they're great on connecting to phones and other devices where you can do a standard Bluetooth search and find something and connect to it that way. But this is the only one that I've found where you can put this into search mode, put the headphones into search mode, and without touching anything, they automatically pair. So now, uh, when my son wants to watch television without disturbing the rest of the house, he can do it. Um, not the cheapest, but as I said, the only one that I've found that will connect to headphones without um, without any manual intervention, because you, with headphones, you obviously can't see devices. They've got to purr automatically. So what you get with this is you get the short cable with the, um, with the adapter there that will go into a phone, back of a TV, into a, any music system. Uh, and then obviously the other end goes into the Bluetooth adapter. You've got a micro USB cable um, that charges this up. You don't need to keep it connected, but may as well do. Um, you, you, if, you, if you remove that, you could put this in the car or anywhere and you, you've got a number of hours where, where you don't have to have any cables connected. Because this is always being connected to the TV though, it's always being powered. And, and it's as simple as that. You press this button to turn it on and off or to turn it into um, into pairing mode and it just does it automatically. So now we've got a TV that hasn't got any audio output. Um, I've got it connected through uh, a, a digital optical converter which gives me the left and right outputs and also the auxiliary output there which enables me to connect to this which enables me to connect to headphones. Something that took me ages to do um, because I needed this as opposed to the other two that I've got, but it now works absolutely fantastically. So that is a really big recommendation if you want to pair headphones to your TV.